Welcome back to the morning show. It's Wednesday, Wise Guy Time. Our very own U of I physics professor, Matt Sellen, is back. Matt, thanks for coming in again today. Oh, fun as always. Fun as always. Yep. Talking about sound. Yes, yes. So we've been doing sound for a few weeks now, and mm -hmm. last week we almost broke a glass. I had to help it with a hammer. That was very cool, though. But, you know, I did find... Right, I, I saw like it. Six or seven years ago I or something, and it's online, so you can actually see me do that, <laughs> and it broke. So I thought let's, we can talk a little bit about how to make sound, because okay. I, I dug up a demo I've never done before, and it's just the Good. coolest thing I've ever seen. And so uh, the idea here is that to make sound, you need to make air vibrate, or something mm -hmm. has to vibrate. The way usual loudspeakers work is that you have like a paper cone mm -hmm. and a little electromagnet that you run the current back and forth through, and it makes the cone wiggle, and you hear sound. Sure. Okay, so we're going to do that with uh, this piece of tin foil right here. So I did kind of just get this out of the kitchen. This is a piece <laughs> of PVC pipe and a couple of alligator clips from Radio Shack and some tin foil that I just got at the edge here. Okay. okay. And, uh, and we have a magnet right here, but we need to remind ourselves how magnets and currents in wires interact. Okay, so if you, I want you just to hold this thing there, and I'm just going to hook up both ends of that wire yep. to this battery right here, and you're just going to see that it kind of yeah, see bounces. How it, yeah, if you make it a little looser, you'll see that it just it kind of bounces. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. so what happens is when you run a current through a wire, you mm -hmm. have charges moving in that wire. Right. And this magnet right here has a north pole and a south pole. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's actually do this a little more. And <clears throat> so what happens is when you run when you run a current through this wire, there's a f force on those charges because they're moving in the magnetic field. And the rule is, if the magnetic field goes this way mm -hmm. and the charges are going this way, then the force is perpendicular to both of those directions. So it's either up or it's down. Okay. Okay. That's why the wire, the charges are running this way. The magnetic field goes from north to south. So the thing wiggles up and down. Sure. That okay. makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a current that is generated by some sound that I have on my iPod phone awesome. thing. And we're going to run it through this piece of tinfoil right here. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna, you're going you're gonna to hold this thing. And yeah. then when I tell you, you're just going to lower it into the magnet. And then okay. we're going to get some motion. So I'm going to get this going here. All right. And let me turn this thing on. This is just an amplifier so that when we run current through this thing. There we go. OK, so can you lower it in there? You ready? Yep. Awesome. And you can see the foil dancing. Let's turn it this way. And you can just kind of flip it up so that the people, people see. Okay, so you can hear the sound. And it looks like I've got a tiger by the tail. And we can hear Buck Owen. Well, how cool is that? Can you sing? Uh, not very well. <laughs> We're out of time, fortunately. Oh, we are? Yes, oh, so okay. I don't have to sing. Okay. I can, can pick and grin, but that's about it. But as we go to break, you can see this thing vibrating. And when we come back, I'll play with the magnetic field a little more. I'll show you how you can magnetize an iron bar with a hammer. Oh, awesome. That sounds great. Uh oh it's okay. It's perfect. We're out of time anyway, Matt. So you want to see replay this segment, go to our website, homepage.net. Look on the morning show. You okay? I said, oh, oh, because I could smell something burning.